welcome to dinner tonight. My name is Jerry Lynn Smith and I'm a County Extension Agent with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. Today I'm going to be preparing a quick and easy side dish to accompany your main meal. Today we're going to be making a squash stir fry. The first step is to prepare your skillet by adding a tablespoon of olive oil and letting it get warm. Now we're going to add our onions. We thinly slice these into small sections so that they're ready to cook. So we're going to add those to our skillet. You can hear them start to sizzle in the olive oil. We're going to stir them around and let them cook for about a minute so they get a little bit tender. And they're all incorporated into the oil. Okay, those are cooking very nicely. This is a great recipe to use when you have too much squash in your garden or your neighbor gave you a bunch of squash and you need to get rid of it. So you can always cook this up quick and easy. All right, our onions are cooked, so now we're going to add our squash. I have one medium yellow squash and I've sliced it into rounds very thinly. And we're going to add those to our skillet. Next we're going to do the same thing with our zucchini. We have a medium zucchini and it's also been sliced nice and thin into rounds. And we're going to add that to our skillet. Then to add some color, we're going to add some red bell pepper. And I've just cut these into small, small little bite-sized pieces. So we're going to add those to our zucchini and our squash and our onions. And then we need to stir it all up. You can hear it start to sizzle. It means it's stir-frying. And it's starting to look really pretty too. I like all the colors in this dish. All right, that's going to stir fry for about three to five minutes and you'll need to continue to stir it while it's cooking so that it does not burn or stick. We want to add a little flavoring to that. So I have a quarter teaspoon of basil and a quarter teaspoon of oregano and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. So we're going to sprinkle that all over our squash and onions and pepper and then we'll mix it in really good. All right, this gives it a nice little Italian flair to a stir fry. And if you want to use fresh herbs, you can do that too. But most people have the dried ones already in their pantry. All right, that smells really good and it's starting to cook very nicely. And we're going to let that saute for just, like I said, three to five minutes until it's all crisp tender. We don't want to overcook this dish because it takes away from the color and the taste. All right, so our squash is now cooked for about five minutes and it's crisp tender and it's ready to be served. And this is a really nice dish that you can serve either with some Italian food or you can pair it with some beef or chicken also. It makes a very colorful, makes a very colorful presentation. If you use a pretty bowl, a white bowl is really nice too, or a decorative bowl, and it makes it look really nice on the table. So now our dish is ready to serve. This makes a nice pairing with a beef or chicken dish, or even an Italian side dish. So when you're ready for something quick and easy, I hope you consider dinner tonight in Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service.